I am Ra. I have not spoken through this instrument before. We had to wait until she was precisely tuned, as we send a narrow band vibration. We greet you in the love and in the light of our infinite creator. We have watched your group. We have been called to your group, for you have a need for the diversity of experiences in channeling which go with a more intensive, or as you might call it, advanced approach to the system of studying the patterns of the illusions of your body, your mind, and your spirit, which you call seeking the truth. We hope to offer you a somewhat different slant upon the information which is always and ever the same. The Confederation of Planets in the service of the Infinite Creator has only one important statement. That statement, my friends, as you know, is, all things, all of life, all of the creation is part of one original thought. We will exercise each channel if we are able to. The reception of our beam is a somewhat more advanced feat than some of the more broad vibration channels opened by other members for more introductory and intermediate work. Let us for a moment consider thought. What is it my friends, to take thought? Took you then thought today? What thoughts did you think today? What thoughts were part of the original thought today? In how many of your thoughts did the creation abide? Was love contained? And was service freely given? You are not part of a material universe. You are part of a thought. You are dancing in a ballroom in which there is no material. You are dancing thoughts. You move your body, your mind, and your spirit in somewhat eccentric patterns for you have not completely grasped the concept that you are part of the original thought. We would at this time transfer to an instrument known as Don. I am Ra. To minute pause, I am Ra. I am again with this instrument. We are close to initiating a contact but are having difficulty penetrating a certain mental tension and distraction that is somewhat characteristic of this channel. We will therefore describe the type of vibration which is being sent. The instrument will find a centering the energy field at a slight angle towards the back of the top of the head in a narrow but strong area of intensity. We are not able to offer any conditioning due to our own transmitting limitations. Therefore, if the instrument can feel this particular effect he may then speak our thoughts as they come to him. We will again attempt this contact. I am Ra. 90 second pause, this instrument is resisting our contact. However, we are sure that we are satisfied that contact with the one known as Don is not at this time preferable to that instrument. We will, therefore, move on to the one known as Leonard. Again we caution the instrument that is a narrow band communication which is felt as a vibration entering the aura. We will now transfer this contact. I am Ra. 90 second pause, I am Ra. We greet you once more in the love and the light of our infinite creator. We ask that you be patient with us, for we are a difficult channel to receive. However, we may perhaps add some dimensions to your understanding. At this time we would be glad to attempt to speak to any subject or question which those entities in the room may have potential use in the requesting. Question 1.1. Questioner, do you have a specific purpose, and if so, could you tell us something of what your purpose is? Answer, I am Ra. We communicate now. We, too, have our place. We are not those of the love or of the light. We are those who are of the law of one. In our vibration the polarities are harmonized, the complexities are simplified, and the paradoxes have their solution. We are one. That is our nature and our purpose. We are old upon your planet and have served with varying degrees of success in transmitting the law of one, of unity, of singleness to your peoples. We have walked your earth. We have seen the faces of your peoples. This is not so with many of the entities of the Confederation. We found it was not efficacious. However, we then felt the great responsibility of staying in the capacity of removing the distortions and powers that had been given to the law of one. We will continue in this until your, shall we say, cycle is appropriately ended. If not this one, then the next. We are not a part of time and, thus, are able to be with you in any of your times. Does this give you enough information from which to extract our purpose, my brother? Question 1.2. Questioner, yes. Thank you. Ra, we appreciate your vibration. Is there another query? Question 1.3. Questioner, 
I've heard of the name Ra in connection with the Egyptians. Are you connected with that Ra in any way? Answer, I am Ra. Yes, the connection is congruency. May we elucidate? What do you not understand? Question 1.4 Questioner, could you give me a little more detail about your role with the Egyptians? Answer, I am Ra. The identity of the vibration Ra is our identity. We as a group, or what you would call a social memory complex, make contact with a race of your planetary kind which you call Egyptians. Others from our density made contact at the same time in South America, and the so-called Lost Cities, were their attempts to contribute to the law of one. We spoke to one who heard and understood and was in a position to decree the law of one. However, the priests and peoples of that era quickly distorted our message, robbing it of the shall we say, compassion with which unity is informed by its very nature. Since it contains all, it cannot arbor any. When we were no longer able to have appropriate channels through which to enunciate the law of one, we removed ourselves from the now hypocritical position which we had allowed ourselves to be placed in. And other myths, shall we say, other understandings, having more to do with polarity and the things of your vibrational complex, again took over in that particular society complex. Does this form a sufficient amount of information, or could we speak further? Is there another query? Question 1.6 Questioner, the question was lost because the questioner was sitting too far from the tape recorder to be recorded. Answer, I am Ra. Consider, if you will, that the universe is infinite. This has yet to be proven or disproven, but we can assure you that there is no end to yourselves, your understanding, what you would call your journey of seeking, or your perceptions of the creation. That which is infinite cannot be many, for manyness is a finite concept. To have infinity you must identify or define that infinity as unity, otherwise, the term does not have any referent or meaning. In an infinite creator there is only unity. You have seen simple examples of unity. You have seen the prism which shows all colors stemming from the sunlight. This is a simplistic example of unity. In truth there is no right or wrong. There is no polarity for all will be, as you would say, reconciled at some point in your dance through the mind-body-spirit complex which you amuse yourself by distorting in various ways at this time. This distortion is not in any case necessary. It is chosen by each of you as an alternative to understanding the complete unity of thought which binds all things. You are not speaking of similar or somewhat like entities or things. You are everything, every being, every emotion, every event, every situation. You are unity. You are infinity. You are love, light, light, love. You are. This is the law of one. May we enunciate this law in more detail? Question 1.7 Questioner, no. Answer, I am Ra. Is there another query at this time? Question 1.8 Questioner, can you comment on the coming planetary changes in our physical reality? Noise of cassette tape being flipped. Answer, I am Ra. I prefer to wait till this instrument had again reached the proper state of depth of singleness or one-pointedness before we spoke. The changes are very, very trivial. We do not concern ourselves with the conditions which bring about harvest. Question 1.9 Questioner, if an individual makes efforts to act as a catalyst in general to increase the awareness of planetary consciousness, is he of any aid in that direction, or is he doing nothing but acting upon himself? Answer, I am Ra. We shall answer your question in two parts, both of which are important equally. Firstly, you must understand that the distinction between yourself and others is not visible to us. We do not consider that a separation exists between the consciousness raising efforts of the distortion which you project as a personality and the distortion which you project as another personality. Thus, to learn is the same as to teach, unless you are not teaching what you are learning, in which case you have done you, they little or no good. This understanding should be pondered by your mind, body, spirit complex as it is a distortion which plays a part in your experiences at this nexus. To turn to the second part of our response may we state our understanding, limited though it is. 
group individuated consciousness as that state of sharing understanding with the other distortions of mind, body, spirit complexes, which are within the evident reach of the mind, body, spirit complex individual or group. Thus, we are speaking to you and accepting both our distortions and your own in order to enunciate the laws of creation, more especially the law of one. We are not available to many of your peoples, for this is not an easily understood way of communication or type of philosophy. However, our very being is hopefully a poignant example of both the necessity and the near hopelessness of attempting to teach. Each of those in this group is striving to use, digest, and diversify the information which we are sending this instrument into the channels of the mind, body, spirit complex without distortion. The few whom you will illuminate by sharing your light are far more than enough reason for the greatest possible effort. To serve one is to serve all. Therefore, we offer the question back to you to state that indeed it is the only activity worth doing, to learn slash teach or teach slash learn. There is nothing else which is of aid in demonstrating the original thought except your very being, and the distortions that come from the unexplained, inarticulate, or mystery clad being are many. Thus, to attempt to discern and weave your way through as many group mind, body, spirit distortions as possible among your peoples in the course of your teaching is a very good effort to make. We can speak no more valiantly of your desire to serve. May we speak in any other capacity upon this subject? Question 1.10. Questioner, will you be available for communication? Can we call on you in the future? Answer, I am Ra. We have good contact with this instrument because of her recent experiences with trance. She is to be able to communicate our thoughts in your future. However, we advise care in disturbing the channel for a few moments and then the proper procedure for aiding an instrument who has, to some extent, the need of re-entering the mind, body, spirit complex which the instrument has chosen for the life experience of this time slash space. Do you understand how to nurture this instrument? Question 1.11. Questioner, no. Could you explain it? Ra, we suggest first a brief period of silence. Then the repetition of the instrument's vibratory complex of sound in your density which you call name. Repeat until an answer is obtained. Then the laying on of the hands at the neck region for a brief period so that the instrument may charge batteries which are not, shall we say, full of the essence of this particular field of this time. And finally, a gift of water into which the love of all present has been given. This will restore this entity, for her distortions contain great sensitivity towards the vibrations of love and the charged water will affect comfort. Do you now understand? Question 1.12 Questioner, not completely. Answer, I am Ra. We search your mind to find the vibration, nickname. It is this vibration from you which contains the largest amount of what you would call love. Others would call this entity, first name. The charging of the water is done by those present placing their hands over the glass and visualizing the power of love entering the water. This will charge that very effective medium with those vibrations. This instrument is, at this time, quite fatigued. However, her heart is such that she continues to remain open to us and useful as a channel. This is why we have spent the time slash space explaining how the distortions of what you may call fatigue may be ameliorated. Under no circumstances should this instrument be touched until she has responded to her name. I do not wish to take this instrument beyond her capacity for physical energy. It grows low. Therefore, I must leave this instrument. I leave you in the glory and peace of unity. Go forth in peace, rejoicing in the power of the one creator. I am Ra.